Tarzan on this show is the three men in a boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Absolutely classic, uh, almost stereotypically English book. Um, well worth the read, though, very funny. More Jasper Ford. Go and read him, I insist. He is amazing. Elements of style. This is about writing. excited about The Age of Wonder. This is a history of science book. Um, I haven't actually read it yet. It was lent to me by a friend. Uh, but hopefully get around to that soon. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Thank you. 
philosophy of biology. So not quite as glamorous as it sounds. Um, ethics in an age of technology. Um, that kind of addresses the impacts of technology on, on our ethics, I guess, as you might expect from the title. Quite interesting. Though. History of mathematics. It's quite heavy going, that history of mathematics. by Pierre Duhem. Um, you can find his name anywhere on there. There we go. Um, this was the other main text for my dissertation. Uh, science and the Enlightenment. That's just a straightforward history of science book. Um, another one here. The history of astronomy and cosmology. Very interesting. book is quite special to me because I actually have a writing credit on this book. It's called An Element of Controversy and while we were at university um, we did a project where we kind of examined the history of chlorine and our research was brought together into this book. So one of those chapters has my name on it, which I'm still quite proud of. design book. Ridiculously old, completely pointless now. Not sure why I even keep it around. Particularly as I don't really do any web design. Um, a Brief History of Time, Stephen Hawking. Um, one of the all-time classic popular science books, that. Amazing. More History of Mathematics. Main Currents of Scientific Thought. That is a kind of all-encompassing history of science book. Stuart from here to infinity. That was uh, maths. Fermat's last theorem. That's the story of the solution of one of mathematics' oldest problems and most difficult problems. Uh, a thousand and one things everyone should know about science. Quite a good book, but actually probably famous for having a couple of hours in there that aren't actually true. Um, but kind of worth a read anyway, I think. Um, okay, I actually went through that quite quickly in the 